we are going to learn how the location of the electrons and atoms can determine the size of the atom and its desire to either gain or lose electrons. Mendeleev developed the first periodic table. He placed elements in groups based on their atomic masses. We now know that the properties of elements are determined not by their masses, but by their atomic numbers and the arrangement of their electrons. We can use the SPDF blocks of the periodic table to help us see these arrangements of the electrons in atoms. The noble gases are the most stable and unreactive elements known. Their stability is due to their electron configuration. Except for helium, they all have eight electrons in their outer orbital. They have full S and P orbitals. Helium is stable with only two outer electrons in the S orbital. All other elements on the periodic table will try and achieve a stable electron configuration like the noble gases full S and P orbitals. They will do this by undergoing chemical reactions with other elements. In undergoing the reactions, they will gain or lose electrons and gain a noble gas electron configuration. All chemical reactions are dealing with the transfer or sharing of electrons. You can see that the group 1 metals all have one electron in their outer orbital. They want to lose this electron to acquire a noble gas electron configuration. By the time we get to the halogens, we're only one electron short of having the same electron configuration of a noble gas. So these elements choose to gain one electron to become stable. The electrons on the outside energy levels are blocked from the pull of the nucleus by all the inner electrons. The inner electrons sort of protect the outer electrons from the pull of the nucleus by taking that pull themselves. If you add electrons to the same energy level, they don't shield each other. They don't protect each other from the pull of the nucleus. As we go down the periodic table, electrons are placed in higher energy levels further away from the nucleus, and those electrons are blocked from the attractive force of the nucleus by those inner electrons. As we move across the periodic table, the electrons are added to the same energy level and do not shield each other from the pull of the nucleus. The radius increases because you are adding electrons in energy levels that are further from the nucleus and those inner electrons are shielding the outer electrons and allowing them to move even further away from the nucleus, increasing the radius of the atom. The radius decreases because you're increasing the number of protons as you move across the periodic table and the electrons that are being added are added to the same energy level. They are not shielding each other. As the number of protons in the nucleus increases, the additional protons pull the electrons in closer to the nucleus. You can see the changes in atomic radius as you go both down and across the periodic table. All of the other trends that we will learn about will depend on the changes in the size of the atomic radius. Ionization energy is the energy needed to remove an electron from its outer orbital in order to form a positive ion. 
it is much harder to remove electrons from smaller atoms since these electrons are held much tighter to the nucleus. So ionization energy increases as you go across a period. As you can see from this graph, as we go across a period of the periodic table, the ionization energy tends to increase as the atomic radius decreases. There are some interesting exceptions to this trend in both boron and oxygen, and we will discuss this later in class. You can see the decrease in ionization energy as atoms get larger, and the increase in ionization energy as atoms get smaller, except for the few exceptions in boron and oxygen's groups. So, the smaller the atom, the harder it is to remove an outer electron. The larger the atom, the easier it is to remove an outer electron. As atomic radius increases, it takes less energy to remove an outer electron. As the atomic radius decreases, it takes more energy to remove an outer electron. Isoelectronic ions are the stable ions that are formed when atoms gain or lose electrons to form noble gas electron configurations. The more electrons that an atom gains, the larger its ion will be. The more electrons that are removed from an atom, the smaller the ion will be. So parent atoms are always larger than positive ions and smaller than negative ions. Electronegativity is the measure of the desire an element has to gain electrons when it is combined in a compound. The smaller the atom is, the greater its desire to gain electrons and pull them away from other atoms that it is bonded with. You can see that as atomic radius decreases, it becomes harder to lose electrons, and atoms choose to add electrons to their orbitals to become stable. When atomic radius increases, atoms tend to want to lose electrons to become stable. 